Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. Carrots are some of the most common vegetables out there, and sometimes we don't, we don't tend to use them as much because maybe we don't know what they're good for or what their health benefits can actually do to our body, how they can change us from the inside. And thinking about that in a minute, it'd be very interesting to see or to see research papers about processed foods, like for example, I don't know, some type of cornflakes or uh, I don't know, some type of, I don't know, canned food or something to tell us what the health benefits or the contraindications would be because carrots are one of the best when we talk about keeping our health stable and keeping our health in order instead of anything that comes processed that can actually destroy our health because it comes it with processed goods and even genetically modified foods. So today, we're gonna to talk about carrots. Carrots as simple as they come. What do they do to your body? What does it do to your heart, your eyes, your skin? How can it change your liver, the detox process in your body? Just by having one carrot a day, every day, you can make a huge difference to your inside and the health benefits of every single cell you're probably needing the most. So first of all, carrots, how do they come? What do you, what, what do you use? There are many studies talking about the use of the plant itself, but we're going to focus on the root, the carrot we see every day, the baby carrots if you want, the big carrots, however you want to take them, they are going to benefit your body. First and foremost, and this is something that many people have known now for years, is that carrots have a very good potential in, help, in helping you see at night or helping you keep that macula with great work and great working order. In, in many ways, even help you combat macular degeneration or night blindness, believe it or not. A lot of people don't know that they probably are night blinded and they have no idea that they're going through this because they haven't seen or they haven't they haven't seen their uh, their, 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 their eyesight be destroyed completely. This study says carrots and carotene, right? Because they're, they're orange and that carotene means it has an, an orange pigment. Carrots and carotene and seeing in the dark is something that may protect, and I'm gonna highlight this, may protect against the difficulty at seeing at night and probably attributing poor driving ability to the people that don't have a good vision or visual health. So eating carrots can be a hope to reversing this decline. And this is true because beta carotene is a type of vitamin A that transforms into vitamin A that is used by the body and then, and then helps your eyes replenish that, those, those cells that are being degraded over time. If you need something natural that can help you with your vision, look for Visofar from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com or you can look at something that will improve your circulatory health with something that will make make it easier for your body to support that function, like Antioxy Pro, or even something like Burbrain Spectacular Supplement if you're looking to improve circulation and even memory loss. Like to the video. Don't forget that we are live. Leave your comment down below, I'll answer it as, as we go by. Let me see if we have a question and we'll keep on going. Number two. All right, let me answer this question real quick. Uh, Susan Bowers is asking, I juice carrots and I have a cup every day. Is the sugar a big problem or is it fine to have carrot juice every single day? Thank you. Good question. Now listen, if you're going to have any type of food that is that has a good amount of sugar, because carrots do have large amounts of sugar, the focus with taking that cup of carrots is that you burn that sugar off during the day. So if you're taking an X amount of calories of that sugar inside that carrot juice, well, you might as well exercise every day and you will be fine. You will be fine entirely. Don't worry about it. But if you're sitting around after eating carrot juice, well, it's not going to do you so good because you're eating lots of sugar. You're also eating lots of vitamins, but you're accumulating something that in the long run will affect you greatly. All right. Number two, carrot intake and the risk of colorectal cancer. This is something that has to be very good, very well, very well researched because colorectal cancer is on the rise. And guess what is on the rise also? Junk food, right? We're eating lots of junk food all the time. And where does that end? Your colon. Sometimes it's not being well digested. Sometimes you're eating foods that are genetically modified that have petroleum-based 
dies and guess what? They are not being digested. They end up in that colon causing inflammation because the body could not handle uh, what needed to be digested properly and it gets inflamed. So carrot intake and the risk of colorectal cancer. Carrots has fiber if you eat it raw, obviously, but taking carrots and good, uh, good, uh, a good dose of fiber every day is gonna help you prevent that, that colorectal cancer. An intake below two or three carrots each week was not significantly associated with a reduced risk of, reduced risk of colorectal cancer. The results of this prospective cohort study clearly support the results of studies of cancer-primed rats and colorectal cancer. Now, let me say something, and I wanted to show you this study just by the fact that <clears throat> everything that you see in studies sometimes can be mixed or put together with other ingredients. Carrots, in this case, are in other studies, and I will show you this in, in, in a minute, other studies very important with the antioxidant properties against colorectal cancer, all right? Carrots, when eaten, entirely and raw will have that fiber that will help you release all the fecal matter that will keep inside your colon if you're not having that good evacuation every day. So with respect to cancer, remember, everything that you eat has to be organic, it has to be good in order to help you prevent that colorectal cancer. All right, number, number three, carrots and black carrots, I, I actually, and the anthocyanins that inhibit that neuroprotective effect on cell death and cytotoxicity in oxidative stress. Carrots in general, and this is another study that I wanted to show you, have anthocyanins. Black carrots specifically have more of those anthocyanins and have that property of being a neuroprotective agent. They not only protect your eyes, they can also protect your brain. When you eat vegetables, not only with carrots, but also black carrots and other vegetables, you're gonna see a neuroprotective effect just like this one, right? Against Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and there are many other studies that I can show you in a minute that actually prove this point. Remember, when you eat healthy foods, you're protecting your brain every single day. Number four, all right, let's go to this one. Carrot supplementation improves blood pressure and reduces aortic root lesions. Yes. Now, there's a very nice pitch to this because carrots themselves, and I, I did talk to this, about this in, in, in the beginning, carrots themselves have lots of sugar, okay? And if you're going to take carrot juice, I recommend you mix it with another vegetable that does not have sugar or maybe a cruciferous vegetable, something that has a... Uh, non-sugar based if you base vegetable if you want like for example celery maybe broccoli maybe something that does not have a good taste and when you mix it with carrot you will have this effect especially when you're taking vegetables that will, will reduce blood pressure you're gonna have this have this double or triple so for example carrots with uh, spinach right they help you reduce high blood pressure carrots with uh, kale also can do that Carrots with celery are gonna raise acutely blood pressure because celery has that effect of increasing blood flow for that acute sensation in, in, in like in a couple of minutes after you take it, but in the long run, will help you lower it. Number seven, or number six, sorry. Let me see if we have a question here. Real quickly, let's go, let's go to this. Um, Anita is asking, can you use carrot juice being a, being a pre-diabetic? Mm, I wouldn't suggest that, right? If you're pre-diabetic, you can have other types of juices. It doesn't have to be carrots. For example, if you want the lutein or the beta carotene in um, lutein and zeanthine, for example, for eyesight, you might want, not want to use carrots. You can use kale or you can use spinach, which has also uh, this effect. Or maybe if you want the beta carotene or the vitamin A, vitamin A in this case, take an egg a day, right? You're gonna have that vitamin A in that egg. If you need something natural for this purpose, maybe to help your body improve with the oils of vitamin A, vitamin D, look for cod caps, cocoa pure, and you have also D enzymes from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com to help absorb all these nutrients and get your body using them. Number eight, or number seven, I always forget how to count these, these benefits. The antioxidant activity and anti-aging effect of carrot glycoproteins, right? So we think all the time, well, if I, if I put myself a cream on my skin, I'm gonna look younger. 
Eh, not really. The real effect of looking younger and not aging comes from the inside. When you eat good food, when you eat carrots, when you eat spinach, when you eat foods that are antioxidants, in this case, carrot has it, an anti-aging and antioxidative activity, you're gonna see the effects on the skin. If you're not eating these foods, if you're only eating junk food, well, you're gonna get old really fast, especially if you're eating lots of wheat all the time, which by the way, wheat today is also genetically modified. Like the video. Let me see this last question and we'll keep on going. All right, uh, we'll, we'll keep on going. All right, number seven, number seven, carrots and sperm quality. Today, nowadays, we see lots of problems with sperm quality, lots of problems, right? We're seeing men with less testosterone levels. We're seeing men, men or, or couples that have problems conceiving. Well, carrots, lettuce for men can help. Obviously, there are other natural ingredients that can actually improve this. Like for example, red onions, can, is, they're just spectacular for sperm quality and fertility. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to give this like, video a like button and I'll check you and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check with you tomorrow. Don't forget that we have, every day we have a live video of new benefits in every single vegetable, food, or supplement you might have at home. I'll see you tomorrow and God bless you all.